Hello guys, this is Aiden Warren here. I am actually going to do a little video here explaining how, how the combat rating system works because it's really annoying how these new players are constantly asking for 85 plus CR for these tier 2 and tier 3 raids and they just don't understand it. It's really not the combat rating, it's really based on the gear and skill points of the player because Combat rated is increased by the mods that you put into your gear and the combat rated is also increased by the level of the gear in your possession but what really increases your combat rated is the mods and you can use a level 1 mod just to increase your might by 10 points it really doesn't matter but new players really want these higher combat rating you know just to help them do these easy raids I'm going to show exactly how your combat rating really does increase and the exact amount that you get with a two full tier 4 gear. Alright? Alright, as far as you hit the level 30 here, basically with pretty much 34 level gear, which is PvP gear basically. No, yeah, it's actually, well, you get you actually get toughness as well with this gear, so. These are all 34 item levels here. The shield is a 30 item level, the neck piece is 34, so. And your combat rating here is 32, okay? And I'm actually delete this gear. Because this tune really doesn't matter. So this is just a tune for combat rating explanation. Alright, crap. Forgot to lock my style. Hold on, sorry guys, I forgot to lock my style here. And the face piece. And the head piece. Okay. As you can see, as I'm going to delete the gear here.
as the comment rating is still 32 here. And now I'm going to go and buy a full set of tier 1 gear. If you are worthy, this armor can be yours. And it went up from 32 to 36. 33, 34, 35, 36 out of 4 pieces of gear. Your combat rating will also increase with a max piece and a couple of low level rings and maybe possibly a level 40 or 50 weapon and your combat rating will most likely be around 38. Now as I'm going to go and collect a full set of tier 2 gear. It's beautiful, isn't it? It was crafted for warriors ready to stand and fight for peace. Uh, Show well, me combat that's rating you 43 and we'll build your suit. Okay guys, as you can see, combat rated it requires 43. All right. Now I'm going to show you what really brings up this combat rating. As in tier 1 gear. As I'm actually going to do here alpha mods. Okay. Oh, it's actually a uh, level one mods here. Well, alpha mods will probably actually do raise the combat rate until like it's likely probably like forty one. But uh looks like I'm gonna have to go and do level one mods here. Let me go with might and health. That would be two blue sockets. Might would be four of them. Red sockets. Edit. Nice one would be might and power. Combat rating is 36 here, okay? I'm gonna go for the blue socket. City increase, 37. Which is 46, 46, 46 item level. And that will be 46 plus 3 item level. I'm going to go do another blue socket here. It's still 37. And I'm going to go for yellow socket. Which might empower 1. 38. There's another yellow socket. Red. Uh, 
That would be f level 40 item level. As you can see here, it's fully modded. Okay, level 1. Which takes it up to 40, but you can also pretty much, you know, go to South Gotham and do those sub evader missions and collect, which I believe will probably be maybe higher than 46 item level. I think, or more probably like, I think. I'm not sure what level it is, but it is higher than 46. Now I'm just going to have to get it to 43 here, so I'm going to go for level 2 mods now. Might help too. And might too as well. It is still level 40. Okay, I just grabbed two, I mean, well, four level two mods. Forty one item level. The reason why it's not really going to 43 is because I do not have the mask and rings, guys. The mask and the rings and a higher level weapon, which like 40 eye level weapon and a couple and a mask and a couple of rings and an X piece, will bring it to a, uh, above 43. So you really don't need to worry about actually doing all these mods here. That it's really not necessary because of the rings and neck piece and a higher level weapon. I'm just doing this just to really explain how to come combat radio system really does work. I'm going to go for a might 2 here. Still 41. Okay. I'm going to go for level 3 mods now. Gonna be four might threes. And it's still 41 item level. Okay, so. Might and health tree. I really don't want to go and get the, uh, the level 71 weapon because that really give it a big boost.
42 item level. Now, a couple of level 4 mods would probably finally bring it up to 43. And also I'm going to explain, as you can see, 46 plus 11 item level, you know, that will be 57. That's a tier 2 item level piece there. And pretty much these mods just made a tier 2. I mean, j these mods, these level 4 mods just made tier 1 piece. A tier 2 item level. So basically, if someone is basically asking for 44, 43 plus combat rating for a raid, for a combat raid, you know, with the stats here, this player is going to die, okay, constantly. Doesn't matter if the healer is 60 combat rating. You really can, it's really hard to do combat raid with these kind of stats. A player can just throw mods all over his gear just to get his combat rating up. So I understand why players are asking for a high combat rating, but it really does nothing with your stats. Only raid is going to really do something with your stats if you have level 4 mods with tier 4 gear. And I'm going to go ahead and now get my in health 4. Well, my in power 4 it's first there. Still 42, okay. Okay, finally got it to 43. Sheesh. It's beautiful. Now I'm going to go it? ahead. See? It was crafted Look for at the item level ready to on stand this. And fight for peace. Level Show me 56. And we'll build your suit. And look. 46 plus 11. Level 57 item level. This mod made it a tier 2 level. So why are these players asking for high combat rating? Where the combat rating is really, really has nothing to do with the actual gear. It does has to do with the level of the gear in your possession, but it's really the mods that increases it. It's beautiful. But anyways, I'm just go ahead and buy the full set here. It was for warriors ready to stand and fight for peace. Show me that's you, and we'll build your suit. It's beautiful, isn't it? Missing the it was crafted for warriors here. ready to stand and fight for peace. Show me that's you, and we'll build your suit. 
and I'm actually gonna delete this gear here. Why? Because this tier 1 gear has been made the exact same level as this tier 2 gear. But the only difference is that tier 1 gear is just not enough for a uh, tier 1 raid. Unless that tier 1 gear player is with the skilled group, of course. I'm not saying uh, you can't do it with all that gear, but you can. Now I'm gonna go ahead. Combat rating requires it's 44 now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab up tier 3 gear. I think that may require combat rating 56, not sure. Yeah, requires combat rating 53. Okay. Okay, guys, know exactly what we're gonna do here. This is actually for players who do not have. I'm actually gonna take it to the point where the players do not have Central City. So I'm not gonna go there to get the rings, mask, and neck piece. I'm not going to do that. Okay? So yeah. So 44 combat rating. I will actually throw in level 2 mods here because I really want to skip the time here. Might empower 2. Might in hell 2. Might to four of those. Okay. Remember, I need to get it to 53. Okay, that's 46 item level right now. I'm grabbing all level 3 mods here. Just the only reason why he's taking a bit to go up is because there is no like, you know, like level 28 rings and mask and low level neck piece and, you know, like basically 50 and above weapons. Uh, ninja invites. Still 49. 49. Okay. Now this is the last set. Level 4 mods.
it's 50. You know, I actually forgot to drink it, but that's for players who do not have a DLC. Okay, so looks like I'm gonna have to. It's level 50, but it's fully modded level 4, so. 56 plus 11 item level, that would be 67 item level. That's just 3 levels below tier 3. And that's a 30 item level weapon, okay. I would most likely go ahead and grab up, um, I had to do a level 71 weapon. And they go to level 54. Now I am going to go ahead and grab a full set of tier 3 gear. It's now 58 as you can see. Oh, combat rating 58. Okay. Being that the combat rating is now 58, tier 4 gear requires combat rating 70. So, I'm just going to go ahead and ignore the Central City gear. And just go ahead and grab the neck and rings here. Actually, they're too much of a higher level, so... I'm going ahead and go ahead and do the Central City gear. Yeah. The mask, neck, and rings. That one most likely bring it to like level 63. This is it, the Watchtower. We've retrofitted it a bit for all you new heroes. The Green Lantern, John Stewart. Run! Look out. That will be the max piece. No. Level 70 trinket. The neck piece. And the two rings. Got 
There you go, level 72. Okay, wow. The trinket, the ring, the other ring. Okay. Now I can go ahead and get the full set of tier 4 gear. That would be three pieces. Now that I've actually completed the full set of tier four gear here. which brings your combat rated up to 78. So when people are asking for combat rating 80 plus or 81 plus or 83 plus, 85 plus, well here you go, here you have it. A full set of tier four gear will bring your combat rating to 78. You see that? Here's your full set of tier 4 gear. I'm just gonna delete all this. With a level 71 weapon. As you can see here, level 78 people, okay, 78 with the full set of tier 4 gear. Now back then, before tier 5 gear was added, people were asking for a combat rating 83 or 85 plus for these FOS rates. So the question is, what are they asking for if full tier 4 gear is combat rated 78? It's going to go up as you put level 1, level 2, and level 3 mods into it. It's going to go, it's going to increase what level 71 rings from Promethean lockboxes and level 71 and 78 next. So, yeah. And those lockboxes are very hard to get with free to play and premium players. Alright, uh, here it is. A full set of tier 4 gear with complete set of level 4 mods. If player really wants level combat rating 85, alright, sure, I just don't want some mods, you know. They want a combat rating 81. Let me just throw in some mods. Do we, do, do we really, does a free to play or premium player has to do all that hard work? Grabbing exo bits, having people craft mods for him because free premium players are unable to pay for these, you know, these equipment to make.
make these mods in the vendor, such as equipment interface type 4 or 3 or 2. Uh, they are unable to really get these mods out. Premium players. So a premium player has to do all this work. Grabbing all these mods. You know, because people keep asking for combat rating 81 or 82 for these FOS rates. Okay? And voila, it's 80. Okay, now I had to do all that hard work, grabbing all those exhibits, having people help me make these mods because I'm premium, just to get it to 80 because people are constantly asking for 80 combat rating to do FOS rates, and I have full tier 4 gear. And that's just a thing I don't understand. Now I'm gonna go with blue and yellow sockets of level one pieces. Pretty much premium players are doing nothing but torturing other premium players. They're torturing their own kind. You know, they know how frustrating it is to really get this character's combat rating up. But when they're asking for 85 plus combat rating, they're torturing other premium players. You know, and that's really awful. You know, if, if a premium player wants to get treated better, then why not treat other premium players better? You know, look at this, full tier 4 with level 1 mods, it's still not the combat rating that people keep asking for, to do a FOS raid. I'm actually going to skip all this, now I'm actually going to get this to level 4 mods, the exact level mods that it is for. For these, you know, tier four gear. But here's the thing, though. When players now since tier five has came out, people are asking for combat rating 91, 92, 93. So they, you're you're forcing players to mod their gear again just to get that premium players. And actually, I'm going to show you the math mathematical equation of this modded, fully modded tier four gear compared to the new level 81 using computers connected to the nexus of reality Shut up, Batman. i've been doing research on significant Good moments in the timeline i've created several computer simulations of these moments and i need a volunteer get over it i'll record the events and do just like you told Superman, cry me over the simulation right? is complete use your communicator yeah. when you're ready to begin okay good now it's fully modded combat rating 84 there you go. Fully modded tier 4 gear. Fully modded level 4s. These rings and necks. Because it's very hard for premium players to get these boxes to open with keys. Just so they could get level 71 and 78 rings. And the 71 and 78 neck. So how do you expect a player to get his combat rated up to 85 or 86? Because all you new players keep asking for that combat rating to do these FOS raids. Now, for me to really, really open your minds up, you new players out there, to really compare combat rating 93 that you're all asking for now, to do these BIA and FR alerts, let me show you what's the obvious. That how this tier 4 gear that's fully modded level 4 
how it actually really compares to level 81 to 84 gear. Unmodded. Here you go. Level 78 plus 8. Okay, what does that tell you right there? What does that tell you? Level 78 plus 8 makes it. Okay, oops. That makes it a level 86 piece. Okay. 78 plus 11 makes it a level 89 piece. 78 plus 11, level 89 piece. And it goes on. You know? 78 plus 6. 78 plus 6. It all brings it up to above 81 gear. So the majority of this is pretty much above it's 86. 86. Okay? Well, 89. 89. 84 84 here 87 okay and you know it's, it's all above 84 84 item level okay above 84 item level so basically you know with that being said if you had a full set of 83 gear in your possession your combat radio will still be this level because this is what makes your combat rating total of. So you players that are BIA and FR who wants combat rated 93 plus uh, are looking for a healer combat rated 93 plus please send tell. Looking for a controller combat rated 93 plus please send tell. What are you asking for? If a player is a full set of 83 and, and above gear, that's above tier 4 gear. A player can have a full set of 83 and level 84 gear, that is actually basically very, very close to tier 5 gear. That will actually bring your combat rating to 84 or maybe 85. Maybe 87 or exactly 88 with the level 76 mask. And maybe a level 81 weapon from doing Bizarro, 78 neck, and 78 rings that are actually modded that makes the item level plus 19 that will bring it to 88. So if all if a player has all that, and why do you people are asking for 93 combat rating? You are forcing these premium players. You making them have to work hard just to get mods again to raise their combat rating to 93 because that's what you all keep wanting just so a full set of 83 gear player to do that you are torturing premium players here and I would have to say please stop asking for high combat rated to give these premium players a chance to really play the game do you know how hard it is to pug out there and get ninja loaded and get out rolled all the time and these play me players I just have had it with not getting the gear that they need by doing raids with people they don't know and here you go now what I'm going to show you here a full set of tier 5 gear and the actual combat rating that it really brings you up to you players are asking for a 93 plus combat rating just to help you do these tier 5 alerts family reunion and brothers in arms all right let's see exactly what you're asking for and I'm going to show you exactly what you're asking for
And voila, combat rated 84. Okay? So you people are asking for combat rated 93 plus to do these family reunion and brothers in arms alerts with you? You are asking for a full set of tier 4 player that it takes a full tier 4 player to grind out these alerts just to get marks of reality to get tier 5 pieces and also grinding out Bizarro and Huntress to get geared up between level 81 and 82 gear but you gotta, you gotta let these people that are lower to really get these alerts done to even get gear that drops in those alerts that are level 83 and 84 so why you at why are you players asking for combat rating 93 where a full set of tier 5 gear is still 84 that tells you that these mods that increases your stats really don't do much maybe like 27 might and 28 precision and that's that show you the combat rating that you get with the 78 neck and rings that is ring 1 ring 2 and the neck piece And there you have it. Combat rating 86 people. What happens when you mod these 78 rings that are from the Promethean lock boxes? It makes it level 78 plus 19 item level that will bring it to 78. And the mask that you get from Home Turf, which is level 74, well 73 and the tier 4 inner sanctum alert which is 76 will hopefully bring it to 89 okay so you people that keep asking for high combat rated and full set of tier 4 gear it's not even that combat rated that you keep asking for to do these alerts for you are torturing premium players making them have to do all this hard work to increase their combat rated because that's all you people ask for Honestly, does the comment rating really matter or is it the gear? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mod this tier 5 gear. And to show you the, the, the stats that you get by modding this gear. Might and power. 19 might and 56 power. That's what I'm going to get. 19 might, I will say basically round that up to 40. 40 might and pretty much 112 power. That's all I get. 19 might, that would be 80. Okay. That's another 80. I will say probably 160. So hopefully above 200 extra might that I get. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw it into this tier 5 gear. You know, in order to really get that combat rate that people keep asking for. 88. And here, fully modded tier 4 gear, I mean tier 5 gear, level 4 mods. That brings it up to 91. You know. Now we'll probably bring it up to 93. It's maybe an 81 neck piece and a level 81 or 82 weapon. 
and possibly if you actually get a chance to do the tier, tier 5 alerts you'll get level 82 mask that will probably bring it to 93 and finally you got the combat rating that people are constantly asking for to do these tier 5 alerts so you people want a full tier, four, full tier 5 set just so you can get these tier 5 alerts done that they're not hard at all I don't understand why these people want to get carried like little babies just to get these tier 5 alerts it's not hard at all people started it with tier 4 gear and got it done with tier 4 gear so why are you asking for combat rating 93 if not even tier 5 gear makes combat rating 93 it's still combat rating 88 and fully modded lo 8 level 4 mods except 91 including the 78 neck rings so I hope people now learn and understand how the combat rating system really works and that people are truly misunderstanding it compared to the actual gear I hope this helps and that's it pretty much this is what I'm going to explain to people that stop asking for high combat rating and let people play let premium players get to play the game stop making them have to do all that hard work to have to do five or six mods just to increase their combat rating by two it's torture now you know so pretty much I hope this helps you out and really understand and bye